Wasabi wallet. Unfairly private. Securing your Bitcoin is important, and many people utilize hardware wallets, dedicated devices used as digital vaults for your funds, to secure their assets. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one called the Blockstream Jade. And this wallet allows you to store your Bitcoin via the main network, but it also utilizes Blockstream's liquid network to store liquid Bitcoin and assets that are issued on the liquid sidechain. As always, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your daily session. Bitcoin. So I want to start this video off here by giving a little bit of background on what the Liquid Network is, what it provides, and what it does not provide. So the Liquid Network is a side chain of Bitcoin, which means that you are locking up actual Bitcoin into what is known as a federated model. So there are a bunch of trusted federation members, a lot of large companies, exchanges, so on and so forth, that uh, basically oversee this network. Now, you can run a node and verify that the network is working as uh, promised, but there is a bit of a trust trade-off here. The vast majority of these companies would have to collude together to break the one-to-one -one peg representative here for when it comes to Bitcoin versus liquid Bitcoin. Uh, so it lies somewhere in the middle between full self-custody on-chain with regular Bitcoin and leaving your Bitcoin with a single custodian on an exchange, which is like the worst thing you could do. Um, this is not either extreme. It's nowhere near as good as self-custody on a regular Bitcoin wallet. It's nowhere near as bad as completely leaving your Bitcoin with somewhere someone else. Now, in terms of liquid versus lightning, there are also different things here that are at play. Both do have quicker transactions, although I say that lightning is quite a bit faster. It's basically instant and, and very, very cheap, whereas liquid is... Uh, they have one minute blocks. It takes two minutes to fully confirm and the fees while very very low can also be dynamic like Bitcoin The fee structure depends on how busy the network is at any time However, as you'll see in the demo here fees are extremely low and you can pay less than one Satoshi per byte Which is not possible on the regular Bitcoin network uh, also, some other features of the Liquid Network include confidential transactions. So when you send a transaction, while you can see the transaction on the blockchain, it does not show the amount or the asset that you're using. So everybody on the outside looking in is very in the dark as to what you're doing other than the person you're actually transacting with. And in terms of assets that I just mentioned, you can indeed issue other assets on the liquid sidechain and then you use Bitcoin as the fuel for transaction fees or rather liquid Bitcoin for the fuel for transaction fees. So we're going to be taking a look at all of this. Of course, everything's a trade off here. Um, so depending on what your use case is, it may be different for you. And the main thing that sticks out for me here is that with Lightning Network, it necessitates having a hot wallet, something that is constantly online and accessible. With Liquid Network, that is not the case. And because of that, you are then able to use a hardware device like the Jade to actually secure your funds. That's just not possible with Lightning Network. So as I said, trade-offs, you got to decide what you need to do and how best something like Liquid may suit your needs. Anyways, let's keep going. Before we dive in, of course, shout out to sponsors of the show, Ledin.io, where you can use your Bitcoin for a variety of different services. Of course, they have their Bitcoin back loans where you can use your Bitcoin as collateral to get a Canadian or US dollar loan. So if you're in a pinch, you need to get your hands on dollars, but you don't want to sell your Bitcoin because one, that's a taxable event. And two, maybe you're worried about having to buy back in at a higher price. This could be for you. Very easy. You deposit, you get dollars to your bank account within 20 
24 hours, you pay those dollars back and you get back the same amount of Bitcoin. They also have their Bitcoin and USDC savings accounts with interest rates up to 12.5% annually paid monthly. And they have their B2X offering, which uses the same loan mechanism to instantly buy more Bitcoin if you're feeling mega bullish. So be sure to check them out. Links down below if you opt to get one of their loans with that link. They'll give you 25 bucks for free into your savings account. Up next, we've got the Kobo Vault. Obviously, I'm doing this on the Jade, but Kobo is one of my regularly used hardware wallets. Also excellent. They have Bitcoin only firmware that you can use, secure element, and it's fully air gapped. That means you never plug this thing into anything internet connected. It's all done offline via QR code. If you want to check them out, links are down below in the description. And just for reference, I am using the uh, Pro, which has the fingerprint scanner and the rechargeable battery. Finally, I am living on Bitcoin. One of the ways that helps me do this, or one of the sites that helps me do this, is BitRefill, where you can use your Bitcoin to buy pretty much any damn gift card you could imagine. They've just got everything here, which makes it a lot easier for me to do things like groceries and gas. Uh, they are available in just too many countries to even name here. I'm just scrolling and it never ends. Uh, and the beautiful thing, they accept both uh, Bitcoin on main chain and Lightning Network, maybe Liquid Network soon. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but also you earn sats back as you shop. So be sure to check them out. Links in the description. And with that, let's dive into the tutorial. Now, I'm going to be starting under the assumption that you've gotten your hands on liquid Bitcoin. But if you have not, there are kind of two different ways to think about getting liquid. Uh, one is by actually pegging in, which is a process in which you lock up Bitcoin and then are given liquid Bitcoin. But this process is lengthy. I believe it. it uh, requires more than 100 Bitcoin confirmations before it goes through. So, you know, you could be waiting quite some time, you know, a day or, or so for that to go through, assuming you get a quick confirmation. Um, but you can also trade Bitcoin for liquid Bitcoin. And I found this to be a much easier and more instant solution. Um, so that is something to consider. This is a list of, of liquid federation members. So some ones that may pop out to you that are well known, uh, Bitfinex, Bull Bitcoin, Bitsy. Um, one that I did in a previous video for Blockstream Green is Sideshift.ai. I find that one to be super, super easy. And you'll also see a little bit later on in this video, Sideswap is another way that you can get your hands on uh, some liquid assets uh, if you're looking to do that. So uh, just wanted to give this preamble so you guys kind of know where this liquid Bitcoin is coming from. You can peg in or you can trade Bitcoin for liquid Bitcoin if that is your preference. But either way, if you're curious, head over to blockstream.com slash liquid to see more about that. All right, so here we are with Blockstream Green pulled up on my computer, which is probably the best uh, <laughs> the best interface to use the Jade with, given that created by the same people at Blockstream. And uh, we've got the device on the desk here. Now, this thing, it basically has three buttons. There is a clicky wheel at the top that goes side to side when you're making selections. There is a button to select something once you've gotten to what you're looking for. And there is a power button down at the bottom for when it's asleep, you can just turn it on. And this is not currently plugged in. It does have a battery on its own. So you turn it on and th that's pretty much it uh, to make your selections. You go side to side and again to select something. Like if I want to turn it back off, it's the main button and off it goes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now I should say uh, this thing, it's uh, very cheap and affordable for those of you that are looking for hardware wallets. So could be a decent option if you're tight on your budget. Of course, it is made out of plastic. It does have a uh, camera on the back here. Um, not much else to say about it. In my limited use, it's held up quite well. Uh, it doesn't feel you know, super premium. It's not made of metal or anything, but for a cheap price tag, that's pretty much expected, right? Um, I'd love to see a, uh, a a fancy version of the Jade where it's, you know, maybe aluminum or some, some other metal or, or whatever. Uh, but so far, this has held up pretty well, especially for the price tag. So um, that's that. This isn't necessarily a review. This is more of a how-to. So, you know, 
check it out, come to your own conclusions. Anyways, we've got Blockstream Green pulled up on the computer here. We're gonna go through the initial setup of this thing. I'm gonna do so by plugging it into the computer. Should turn it on right away anyways. Okay, so on my computer here, I can see as soon as I plugged it in um, on Blocks from Green for desktop, by the way, this can be used with mobile as well. Um, on the left hand side here, we have our options. You can create a liquid or Bitcoin wallet native to your computer. So not using a hardware wallet, but as soon as you do plug in a Blockstream Jade, you can, you can see there's a little number one beside it. You can click there and it says, hey, look, there's uh, this is your device. You can update the firmware. Um, you can start and set up a Jade wallet with Liquid or with Bitcoin. So this is where, again, if you wanted to secure your Bitcoin using the Jade, um, which again, functions pretty damn well with Blockstream Green on desktop or mobile, then you would do so here. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be using uh, Jade with Liquid Network. Again, it's also easier to do these tutorials with something like Liquid, just in terms of fees. Main chain fees can get uh, expensive on Bitcoin. And you know, when I'm doing tutorials, pumping out tutorials like this on a regular basis, it's kind of nice to be able to utilize something that uh, gives the same user experience without costing me an arm and a leg. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit setup Jade under liquid. Okay. So here it says a new wallet mnemonic will be generated, write these words down and store them somewhere safe. So super easy. Uh, now this is the point where also, if I had a previous, uh, wallet, whether I'm dealing with liquid or with Bitcoin, um, I could recover it here by going to the recovery button, but no, we're going to set up a brand new wallet. We're going to select that. It's going to give me my words. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to write these all down and we'll be back as soon as I am finished doing that. Just wanted to add in here that if you are writing down your backup phrase, it's not always the best to just have it on paper. Sometimes it's good to have something a little bit more secure, including when you're using the liquid network, you know, no reason not to back that up securely as well. Something like the bill fodle where you're storing it in solid steel can really give you some peace of mind. This is how I back up my hard, uh, all of my hardware wallets and some of my, uh, some of my software wallets as well. Uh, but basically if you're setting it on paper, then that opens you up to the risk of fire damage, water damage, or just accidentally throwing it out because it's just a slip of paper and I've heard all of those horror stories before. So please do consider getting something like the Bill Foddle, whether it be or not, but uh, this thing is nice and secure and uh, you'll have that peace of mind that you're not gonna easily lose the backup to your wallet. So future, so, uh, future proof yourself a little bit with something like this or at least consider it. Anyways, let's keep going. Once I get to the end of my 24 word phrase, I can just go over and click on verify. And at this point, it's going to ask me some skill testing questions to ensure that I've actually written this down. So I just go through and for example, for word number two, it's saying, which one of these is it? Is it turkey or sorry, today, bleak or boring? And when I go and check, I can see that it is bleak the middle option, I just select that and I go through with all of my uh, words. Well, not with all of them, but with the pre-selected words that they give me. So we'll just do that and finish. Upon answering those questions, I'm going to set up a pin number again, just using the wheel here. We're going to keep it simple for this video and we'll just go one through six. And then confirm. Okay, my pin number is ready. I can now see listed here, it says go to wallet. It also shows under liquid on the left-hand side of the screen on blocks from green, it shows Jade. So either one, I can just click and we now have our functioning liquid wallet, which we can start sending funds to. Just a quick overview of what we have. We see our main account. We see a balance in liquid Bitcoin uh, and the equivalent US dollars. We see send and receive, though there's no funds in there yet, so send is grayed out. Uh, we see our assets, so you can have more than just liquid Bitcoin, you can have 
uh, tether. You can have other, you know, tokens that can be redeemed for uh, purchases, so on and so forth. You can have that. And we will have a list of transactions down below as we start executing them. And then in the top right, we see our settings, which we can change things like, do we want to see it in Bitcoin or in SATs or some other denomination? Um, we have uh, any changes to local currency if we want to see a different denomination. We also have security if we want to enable two-factor authentication and uh, recovery. You can have a summary of your accounts and so on and so forth if you need to do so. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's start playing around with this thing. So we're going to start with learning how to receive assets into this wallet pretty simple right off the bat. I will say I do have a an app here on my mobile device, which is called SideSwap, which allows you to hold Bitcoin, or rather liquid Bitcoin and liquid related assets. I'm not going to go deep into how this app works, though it should be pretty obvious when you see it. But this will give you just some variation and seeing how different wallets interact with each other. Regardless, I'm going to hit receive on Blockstream Green with my Jade wallet here. And this is going to give us an address. Okay, now it says that I need to verify the address displayed on the Jade. And I'm going to hit the check mark, which will then show what is sitting there. So I just kind of check my device versus what I see on my computer screen to make sure that they are one of the same and they are. Okay, at this point, within the SideSwap app, I'm just going to hit the QR code scanner and I'll be able to scan the address on the screen and then I'm just going to select what I'd like to send so I have the option of what asset I'd like to send I'm sending liquid Bitcoin to start and uh, I'm going to choose an amount here I'm going to hit zero 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 one that's about six dollars that I'm sending over I'm going to hit continue and it shows me my network fee is uh, about 252 sats so very very low that's 0 0.1 sats per byte i'm going to hit send and confirm and off it goes now again as i was saying confidential transactions nobody on the outside looking in well i mean i made this public now but nobody on the outside looking in would be able to see the amount that was sent or sent or the asset that was sent uh, it would just be a general transaction the only people that are able to see it is the sender and the receiver okay um, so i can close out of that and then let's just take a look here i'm gonna close There we go. Okay, so I can see here, unconfirmed transaction, 0 0.0001 liquid Bitcoin. I can click on that and get further details regarding. And just to kind of show this uh, confirms very, very quickly, I just had to quickly answer my doorbell and I got back and the transaction is already completed and confirmed. So very quick uh, in comparison to, and, and cheap in comparison to main chain. Now, uh, I do want to receive another asset, okay? I do want to receive something other than liquid Bitcoin just to demonstrate what that will look like in the wallet interface here. So I'm going to hit receive again. It's all the same addresses, okay? So you don't have to differentiate um, in regards to most of these assets. Again, confirm on my device, is this the same address displayed? Looks good to me. Okay, and so I'm going to, again, open the QR scanner. And once that's scanned, I'm going to choose that I'd like to send over some USDT, some Tether. And let's send over about five bucks worth of that. That looks all good. I hit send, confirm, and off it goes. Okay. Everything's all good there. I'm just gonna close that out. Okay, so here on the main screen, I can now see an unconfirmed transaction for five USD 
tether, liquid tether, okay? And now we can see two different assets listed here um, within my wallet that have been designated. So um, anytime you receive something that is not liquid Bitcoin, it will show it here. You don't have to do any extra work to, to understand what is going on. Um, shows me all my transaction information there. You can view it in a block explorer, so on and so forth. But basically this will confirm in a minute or two and then we'll be able to send out both of them. So we'll just come back when that's ready. All right, so everything's all confirmed. Let's try sending out. So within SideSwap, you can hit receive. And again, you're greeted with a QR code and a string of digits, which is your receiving address. You can copy that or you can scan however you're doing it. Now, I'm obviously using my camera right now. So uh, I've already taken the liberty of copying and pasting and sending over this address. It's on my clipboard right now. So we're just going to take a look at what is required to send it using our uh, Blockstream Jade. Okay, and I'll even zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna hit send. I'm going to paste in the address that I had ready. We're gonna send over, we're gonna send over some tether first. Actually, we're gonna send all of that liquid tether over. Reason I'm doing this first is because when you're sending an asset from, uh, that is on the liquid network, then liquid Bitcoin is the currency used to pay the transaction fees. Okay, so if I sent out all of my LBTC and I just had the tether here, well, then I wouldn't have the funds to send out the tether. Okay, I wouldn't have the fees covered. So anyways, we're going to send out the tether first. I'm going to just hit send all funds. Okay, and we can see 0 0.11 sats per byte. I'm going to hit review. Okay, I'm going to hit send. And then on my device here, it says you're sending this amount to this address that all looks good to me i hit the check mark and it says this is your fee that looks good to me hit the check mark off it goes and i can see incoming transaction whoop <laughs> zoom out there incoming transaction already on side swap i can go into my assets and i can see let's go into tether received five dollars unconfirmed will be confirmed in two minutes. Great. Let's go on to the liquid Bitcoin and get that all settled. So once again, within SideSwap, you can either hit receive or go to your accounts and specify. Let's try that way. We go to liquid Bitcoin and hit receive there. There's our address. Again, off screen, I've already copied it into my, uh, into my clipboard. Uh, so all we do is within blocks from green, we hit send. We paste in that address. We choose our asset, which is liquid Bitcoin. And now that's the only, <laughs> that is liquid Bitcoin. Now that's the only asset sitting in there. We're going to hit send all funds, or I could specify an amount. Um, again, fees are 0 0.11 sats per byte. Hit review, hit send. Our device is going to ask us to confirm. Does that look like the right address? And this is the amount that you want to send. Yes. The fee. Yes. Off it goes. And again, here on my phone, if it will unlock, there we go. I see incoming transaction. Everything is all hunky dory here, everything. And I can see my unconfirmed transaction coming in. And again, these fees are quite quite low so a, a few cents to send these transactions as opposed to you know at times five ten dollars depending on the speed at which you need to execute a transaction on the main chain i find it to be a pretty damn good in between option when you need the security of a hardware wallet you don't want it in a hot wallet for lightning, something like that, where it needs to be online. Um, but you also don't want to be paying exorbitant fees at the time. Uh, I, for me, this is kind of like an intermediary in between those two options. Uh, because for me, leaving funds on an exchange for the most part is just not an option. Uh, so yeah, 
I, I I like this. I'm really getting into Liquid and uh, seeing the ability to store via a hardware device like the Jade is great. And just a side note, while I have you here, you can actually utilize a ledger with Blockstream Green to store liquid assets as well. So keep that in mind if you got one kicking around, you can start experimenting right now, or you can pick up the Jade on the cheap and start playing around. Regardless, very happy that I got to give this thing a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please do hit like, subscribe, and share. All of those things help so much with all of these videos. It helps get these in front of more eyeballs and help people out in exploring Bitcoin. Now, if you want to help out the show in another way, you can hit up the previously mentioned sponsors in the links down below. That was Ledin, Kobo, BitRefill, and Bill Foddle. They're all listed. Uh, be sure to give them a click if there's anything that piques your interest. And finally, if if you really liked what you saw and you want to help with the show in yet another way, you could always drop me a Bitcoin Lightning Network tip at my tippin.me page. That is T I P P I N dot me slash at BTC sessions. With that, I am out. Have yourselves a wonderful day or evening wherever you may be, and I will see you guys next time for your daily session. Bitcoin.